Kayaking down the River Dordogne is something that I've wanted to do for a really long time now. Just me, my backpack, and an 150 kilometer stretch of serenity. Oh, and Lydia invited herself along as well. We have arrived at the River Dordogne. Um, we hitchhiked and we didn't get murdered. We woke up cold and hungry. So the hike upstream to the Safari Ride Kayaking Headquarters was tinged with a hint of resentment and a generous amount of self-pity. But once we got onto the bus to Argentat and then finally onto the water, everything changed. So we are on the River Dordogne. When I first got on the boat, um, my initial thought was, shit, I should have had probably gone for a, a practice kayak with Laura before. So Lydia drops the bombshell on me that she's never actually kayaked before. Great start. <laughs> We're travelling sideways right now. Backwards, we're going back. Shit, shit, okay, I'm gonna put my camera away. Six hours of constant paddling later and we collapse on the bank of Balou Sur Dordogne, our second campsite. So the language barrier once again has made um, an extreme fuck up in the form of a double espresso coffee. <laughs> At least we'll get there quicker. <laughs> some rapids! So we're just about to go over some rapids. Oh, we're stuck! <laughs> I'm gonna have to pull it. Lydia, you're gonna have to do it. You're gonna have to do it. Ah! Lit. Fuck. <laughs> ah! My god! We just nearly lost the oar downstream. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm in awe of this whole situation right now. Oh, and I thought it was gonna be an ordinary day. At least losing things. have arrived in the beautiful Karanak. Come on in! Karanak was an idyllically quiet chocolate box of a town and like most European villages it was home to a medieval church. So Lydia and I took the out-of-character opportunity to pray. What I forgot to mention was today was the opposite of the day before. It was hot. And I'm not talking British tourist hot. This was the real deal. This was the jump out of the kayak fully dressed because you're burning up kind of hot. The heat wave really put a spanner in the works. Um, and But you couldn't really feel it on the boat because the wind was blowing. Uh, as soon as you got off the boat, that's it, you know, hit by the heat wave, 36 degrees. I am so red! <laughs> Look at this! Let those chains fall. What are you doing? I'm just cooling off. <laughs> what a class A cunt. We lassoed our kayak cowboy style to the side of the river when we reached Veyrac. I'm not going to pretend this was easy. Tears were shed. What are you doing this to me? Lower your tone. But alas, we had beer and we had crisps. Do you do crisps? So Lydia asked me to pull up our kayak against this mound here and well, I caved in. So we are just walking up to Gluge. Gluge was a small depressed village where all of the residents appeared to be inside their houses grieving over their dead relatives. Even Jesus looked pretty pissed off. Mind you, he was facing the entirely wrong direction. We arrived in St. Sozzi in the evening, which had a church but no bar, which almost certainly confirmed my atheism. We're going to Swiak today. It's going to be 17 hot kilometres. 
There's these girls next to us on the campsite that are literally always ahead of us. And yesterday we pulled up at reception. Played it really cool. Played it really cool. Was like, like yeah, yeah, like yeah. We've had a fab day. We've had such a good day, so done productive. so well. Then all of a sudden Lydia goes to me, Laura, where are the oars? Whenever they see us, we look like idiots. We look like a shambles. An absolute shambles. Okay, so it's ridiculously windy today. And I have just paddled like a fucking Viking because the thought of our friends overtaking Laura, us... Laura, they're not our friends. We don't even know their names. ...is excruciating. <laughs> there comes a point in everybody's trip where things start to get a little bit out of hand. Ah! I think it was a combination of the isolation, the heat and the intoxication at this point. But we arrived at San Julien de Lampon like a pair of stray dogs. We've been in this restaurant for about three hours. We've had a bottle of wine. I can't even ask for the bill. And we're going to turn up like a joke to the girls again. We didn't win. How can we ever win? My favourite campsite was San Julien de Lampon, where me and Laura ended up streaking and eating sweet corn and shouting about it sweet corn. to our neighbours, who were scouts. Seven-year-old scouts. <laughs> Let me tell y'all about a time that I got a stick from my sweet corn. Bum bum bum. There was a time when I got a stick from my sweet corn. I'm going back to that red clay country. The clouds were truly symbolic of our overwhelming sadness to be leaving this mad campsite, but the next 16 kilometers wasn't going to kayak itself. The show had to go on. Right, let's tie up this baby. What? That's my home boy. We're going to go and see some cows by the water. And I'm just taking a picture of the poop. We arrived in Vitrac, where we set up camp amongst some cornfields and shrubbery. I don't really remember much about this night because I had heat stroke, but apparently I woke Lydia up screaming, telling her there were deadly beasts outside. She didn't sleep a wink after that. My favourite place. Um. It was uh, definitely La Roque Gajac. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Great gift shop. Get Lena a purse. No! La Roque Gajac features the ruins of a fort built during the 12th century, and walking through it really was like stepping into a medieval fairy tale. Finally, we got onto the last leg of our kayaking adventure. Who's a lucky girl? Arriving at Bainac, our last stop, where we hitched a lift with some fabulous Swiss people back to civilization. As much as I miss the water, I can't tell you how amazing it felt to drink in trashy bars and fall asleep in a bed. We spent the last few days of our trip staying in both Bordeaux with a wonderfully crazy local who loved the colour green. Greetings! <laughs> My name is Alice. I am the French one. And we travelled to the west coast in Arcachon where we rode bikes and reflected fondly on our adventures. France in one word. Pan au chocolat. Uh, hot. 
Burning. Big hairy men. No. Many naked swimmers. Rude, arrogant people. That's three words. Oh. Well, that's it then. That's our trip, Lid. <laughs> that's a wrap. Has it been good? It's been really good. It was an adventure. It was indeed. <laughs> Next stop, Gibraltar. <laughs> 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 Ha 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 ha!